Well, in terms of the global challenges we have at the moment, biodiversity, there's an extinction crisis. We're losing species at a thousand times faster than natural rates. We're losing forests. Climate change, we're likely to exceed the two, two degree threshold by 2050 um, at current levels of, of carbon emissions. These are massive challenges that no one person or organisation can solve alone. The only way we're going to be able to address these problems is by working together to be able to create the level of change at the speed we need to be creating it. And that's why Earthwatch firmly believes and has done always that working with the corporate sector is a necessity to achieve our mission. Rio Tinto as a global mining and smelting company by definition is going to be going into areas where we have to potentially have impacts on biodiversity, on communities that live around the, the areas where we operate. And we realized early on that we needed to understand the issues around biodiversity so that we could be sure that we were performing in a way that was acceptable in the eyes of society from whom we get our license to operate. The partnership was formed 20 years ago in 1990 at a time when business and NGOs really didn't work together. And so at that time it was a very brave decision by Earthwatch and Rio Tinto to essentially decide that they were going to collaborate. The organizations might have been coming from different places, but we were able to, to agree on some common objectives, some things that we wanted to achieve together. In understanding each other's organizations better and getting to know individuals inside those organizations, I think we, we got insight into a completely different world, and yet we were working on achieving the, the same goals. For us, in particular in biodiversity, it, it has really, I think, made a big difference attaching our staff to those expeditions, to their work, and it wasn't just about sending environmental people, it was sending operational people and business people because we wanted to get a broad understanding across the Tinto of the importance of biodiversity. The partnership with Rio Tinto has been really important in terms of investing in our research program, so always looking to find solutions. We're a research organisation, so the data we collect in the field is really there to understand what is happening to the environment through that process of, of supporting research, Rio Tinto has also informed its own thinking over its own impacts on biodiversity. So it's really been a win-win relationship over the 20 years. There's a need for the campaigning organisations to create the pressure and the voice that does inspire perhaps those businesses that haven't figured out it's a business imperative yet to change. Having said that, I actually think that even the traditional campaigning organisations now have recognised they need to work with business and are working with business on programmes if they want to affect change at the scale that we need. We are all dependent on the planet for resources, you know, individually and organisationally. So unless we take action to preserve those resources and indeed in some cases to enhance those resources, then we're all out of business.